happy full moon guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to well this evening because it's, it is now 9 43 p.m and we are officially underneath the full moon energy and tonight i'm going to do a by sign telescope reading for the new moon for the full moon energies so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this and get started. I'm gonna start off with a little prayer and then go for it from there. So, please just close your eyes and take in a deep breath. And exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Great Spirit, guides, angels, benevolent ancestors, infinite source. I thank you for all things, for everything, for allowing us to arrive to this place, this space, and this time. I ask that you come through and provide us with any insight, guidance, and messages that you would like for us to carry with us through this sleep or full moon cycle. I ask that you Continue to bring us with grace, protection, wellness, health, and love. If we continue to pass through these days, as we move into a place of the unknown in our lives and in the world. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start off with Aries. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull cards um i'm gonna pull three tarot cards and an astrology card right um and we're gonna focus on what we need to stop what needs to continue what we're gonna stop what needs to start what needs to continue let's talk about this energy a little bit really quickly so we're currently in this place of coming to balance of how it is that we express our individual energy, how we project ourselves out into the world, and how it is that we <laughs> resonate with others within our relationships. You know, how how is this benefiting us? Is this benefiting us? Or is it blocking us in some kind of way? Because with when the moon is in full, is in its full expansion capacity is illuminated by the reflection of the sun because the sun is reflecting up off of it so they're at an opposite angle all right so this can either bring coming into balance or obstacles that show us where we need to come into balance so this is about our desires our hopes our wishes our wants our needs the way it is that we are thinking about how we're relating to others in our partnerships, whether that's love, whether it's friendship, whether that is at work, you know, so um, this is also asking us to bring together these, let our desires help us fulfill our dreams, you know, what are, what are our, what are we desiring to make happen is like get grounded in this energy and be certain about what it is that we want to manifest from here and get aligned with ourselves on a soul level, on a heart-based level, not we're really at a space of coming out of our ego, you know, and coming into the spirit of who it is that we are, the soul of who it is that we are, and connecting with others on a soul level, on a consistent basis, not just because it looks good, not just because it sounds good, you know, but because this is where we align, this is where we come alive, this is where um, the ease, the flow, and the grace exists for things to happen naturally for us without having to um, give a means of force to it, because when when we are in a space of having to force something, it 
per by perhaps that may not be what is in alignment with who it is that we are or where it is that we're going you know and sometimes we think we're going in one direction and spirit comes in it's like no <laughs> this way you need to wake up you need to pay attention where are you going where are you flowing and a lot of this is stemming from how it is in which that we are choosing to express ourselves is going to give us the most support you know the sun is in aries so this is literally about the self about the identity about the body you know how it is that people perceive us and how we are throwing our energy out into the world and it's like are we a benefactor or not <laughs> you know are you and are the people around you beneficial or not are they i don't want to say necessarily toxic but do they hold you back are they helping you move forward do they help keep you grounded? If not, what questions can we ask here? Either how can I further support myself in getting grounded? You know, because it's never really the people around us who need to change, it's us. But then there are those who are around us that the energy is just so strong that we have to come up out of it and do our own thing then to later maybe come back and connect. And that's okay too, you know, so... We also have um, Venus that just went into Gemini. So our love language is all about communicating with one another, connecting with one another, relating to one another for the sake of, you know, Gemini just likes to connect because it can, you know, it can be here, it can be there, you know, and, but this can also bring us into the space of having of flightiness in our feelings and what it is that we desire what in our values trying to find trying trying to make a decision in what it is that we're going to choose to value or what values it is that we're going to choose to show up in more so and with the ruler of gemini mercury being in pisces this is coming from our soul place you know so we're no longer able to just um say oh I love this person I'm gonna love this person and I'm just gonna make it work it's like okay you can say that but it's not really gonna come to fruition because if you don't really if they don't align with your values it's gonna be a little bit difficult to make things work um it's not gonna be a, a flow you know, and all relationships take effort and, and you grow together and you ebb and flux together. But at the same time, um, it's, it's kind of like, where do you stand in your truth? What resonates and aligns with you? You know, and at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. And Venus is going to be in Gemini for the next four months because it's going to go into retrograde. So this is, we're going to have a long process over these next four months up and through the summer to figure out what decision it is that we're going to make in how it is that we're going to value ourselves where it is that we're going to see our worth figuring out what it is that we want to attain when it comes to our possessions to our life and we have a lot of time to stop and do that right now considering the circumstances so this is kind of like we're being able to set this foundation of being able to really get grounded in that right because it's also in an aspect a training harmonious aspect to jupiter so we're able to expand in our relationships we're able along with a, a trine to mars we're able to act upon our relationships we're able to take initiative but this is also destroying anything within the relationships that block us from feeling free. And that kind of, it's like, what does freedom, what do you think freedom is? You know, and do you think freedom is chaos? And if that's what you think freedom is, then when Saturn goes back into, goes into retrograde and back to Capricorn, you're going to have another chance to, really recognize what it is that you need to do and show up in in order to attain the autonomous energy it is that you need to operate in your life all right so really quickly vocabulary lesson autonomy what does autonomy mean autonomy means to be able to operate without being tied to another's 
agenda to not be so this is i'm showing up as this because this is who i am not because this is who you need me to be for you right this is my unique character and in this i'm going to allow my unique character to show up and benefit all of us right so we're getting grounded we're seeing the truth we're realizing purpose we're connecting to our soul to the souls of others we are aligning into the ways in which it is that we need to show up and how that is going to be beneficial to those who are in our sphere and other people who are going to come into our sphere you know and showing up in ways that protect us from those that don't resonate with our our personal authority you know because that's the sun in aries too what is your personal authority where do you stand true for yourself where what does your sphere look like how do you operate in that sphere and how do you feel well in that questions to ask yourself so i'm gonna stop rambling and ranting and i'm gonna get on with these card pulls but really can you be true to yourself while you're interacting with another and if you feel like that you can, are you willing to move around and move into your own person, move around to a place where you are feeling valued and honored for who it is that you are? Okay, so Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. What does this Libra woman have for you? What does Aries need to stop? What does Aries need to start? What do they need to continue? I just keep following up. No, no, let me stop shuffling. So it is start. Start. Continue. Okay, Aries. So what needs to stop is the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you are being in this place of being too focused on materializing your reality um too focused on something that's already happening something that's already present when we're at the 10 we're at a place of fruition of manifestation right so perhaps you need to recognize that you are already there and put your focus in another area so that you can expand even further than what it is that where it is that you already are you know and perhaps um hmm. perhaps you also need to stop seeing things as that you seeing yourself in a place of lack maybe um and get focused on where it is that you need to be moving forward to. Um, success is almost like success is here, it's already here, or either that or it's on the way. You don't have to focus so much energy onto it. Stop seeing things as if you don't have, or stop seeing things from a place of scarcity and know that the abundance is there and instead what you need to do is tap into your emotions. This is the Queen of Cups. You need to come into this, um, get into your heart space, connect to your spirit, connect to your internal, that internal voice, that internal knowledge and wisdom it is that lives with inside of you. Um, perhaps you need to be operating and moving forward with a little bit more empathy and get very clear on what it is that you're feeling and not even just being clear possibly you need to start focusing on your own cup if you're giving a lot because the ten of cups can also speak of of offerings giving so perhaps you were seeing things from a place of scarcity because you are giving from an empty cup and you need to be focused on your own cup so that you can move forward in 
building, in connecting, in relating, in loving, you know, in being a little bit more patient, being a little bit more present, being a little bit more receptive to what it is that you truly want and tapping into that. Okay, so is there anything else that I want to say about the Queen of Cups? I might come back to that. But what you need to continue is being clear on what direction it is that you're heading. The Queen of Cups, you know, not being very communicative about what's going on within you, your thoughts, your beliefs, standing on your truth, you know, and being unwavering about that, not um, allowing the thoughts of another to affect what it is that you are aligned to, what you believe to be true for yourself, and what is it, what is working for you, you know, in that Since you're already doing that, that should help you in beginning this Queen of Cups energy in feeling very rooted and connected. Like if you're, it's a matter of trusting the Queen of Cups, you know, also maybe tapping into your sensitivity, your empathy, your sensuality, um, possibly starting some type of um, spiritual practice, focusing on your healing, whether that is of mind, body, or spirit, or all of these things, because they're all connected, you know, focusing on your wellness. So, let's see. And the Queen of Cups also speaks of, she speaks of giving and receiving, right? So, in order to do this effectively, the cup must be full. You must feel good. So you're moving forward into a new direction and it is important in order to be successful that you are connecting to these aspects of yourself because by being connected, by being in your sensitivity, by feeling well, you'll be able to see the bigger picture. You'll be able to recognize, have a better sense of discernment in your decisions, in your choices, especially when it comes to relationships. Yes, you got the fall transition card. So you're transitioning into a new space. So it's gonna be important for you to be in that state of sensitivity, that, that openness, um, being willing to give as much as you receive being able to and even being open to receiving transitioning into a space of standing clear because this that these things the queen of cups energy the queen of source energy is your ticket to the ten of pentacles if you aren't already there it's like you can't focus on attaining something if you have not cultivated a solid sense of an emotional state, you know, and sometimes you can be, if you're too caught in the Queen of Swords in the mind, this can block you from connecting to the Queen of Cups, right? So continue to stay sure about yourself, but also open up so that you can tap into your senses, right? So, okay. We got these Aries. Now we have Taurus. So we have our Taurus. Let's see. What does Taurus need to start, start and continue?
Okay, so Taurus, what you what needs to stop here is the Knight of Cups. Here you got the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is is kind of that person who is just very idealistic, um, trying to reach that mastery of the king, but um, still needs, in a sense, is kind of flighty because he's he's coming and going, right? So perhaps you need to stray away from that and stop kind of getting lost in the fantasy, getting lost in, in the idea of the relationship, the idea of the romanticism, you know, or this can even speak to any type of moodiness, any type of, if you're coming, because the night can also be very self-centered, like, you know, he's there, he's suave, he looks good, he wants to love, wants to have fun, but then when he's done, he's like, all right, I'm, I'm gone, you know, so that can be a very self-centered energy can also represent moodiness in a sense like um which is the same thing like i'm here and then i'm not you know so it's kind of like okay let's pull away from this let's stop getting caught up in the idealism of the connecting with others because it's the knight of cups emotions inspiration and kind of get to this place of getting grounded getting centered right because you got the queen of pentacles for what needs to be started needing to be focused on on getting grounded on materializing on being this very benevolent source of fruition in your life in the life of others she gives and she receives she loves and she nurtures you know she's rich and full of life you know abundant and she knows where she's going and she knows how to get there she has the tools and the resources and where she doesn't she knows she that she can go and figure it out because the queen of pinnacles she comes after all the queens she's at the end she's a materialization of the cups of the swords of the wands you know she's made all this into reality so it's time to come into this space and to also continue the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles speaks about the inspiration the drive to want to create you know and that drive that energy as long as you keep going forward and building upon that it's going to bring you into the queen of pentacles so it seems like maybe the emotions um are kind of getting in the way of it's like creating a sense of unsurety that you're going the right direction, you know, and the need to, again, to choose which direction it is that you're going into, especially if we look at the whole Venus energy and it being in Gemini. What, what direction are you going to go into? Are you feeling any sense of jealousy based off of where somebody else is that you are not? When really you are already on your way there but you have to first come up out of the idea the idealism of where it is that you're headed so you can get practical about actually getting here you know it's time to get practical it's time to round yourself and come back down in order in order for you to be able to bring this into fruition, because the Queen of Pentacles, she's the mother, but she's also the business owner. Like she does both. She doesn't have to. She knows she doesn't have to choose. She knows all options are available to her. So, in the page, he is forever inspired. You know, he's willing to learn as he goes. You know, he knows that he doesn't have all the know-how but that doesn't stop him from moving forward it doesn't stop him from being like all right i'm gonna do this you know so let's see yeah so the fourth house and the fourth house speaks about this is about home life and family so perhaps um Okay, for me, the fourth house also speaks about your personal influence and how you have been influenced through your family, what it is that you've taken on as you've been raised. This can also speak about the mother. This can also speak about you being a mother, right? So perhaps taking a look at these things and how did, how, 
where it is that this is influencing you, these energies that you have been brought into as a child, now as an adult, how it is that these have influenced you to not be able to recognize this practicality that exists that exists within you that keeps you in like this dreamlike state that stops you from really moving forward getting secure and um getting grounded in who it is that you are you know um and where it is that you're going because you already know it's just a matter of trusting the process and taking care of what needs to be taken care of so that you can move forward and make that happen. So let us move forward to China. Yeah. 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 We have the Gemini spirit. Stop starting. So for you, Gemini, it seems like that you have been very focused on relationships. So you have the two of cups, what needs to stop um, maybe taking a break on connecting and building unions with another, um, really getting lost or caught up in um, the ideal of, of making this happen you know, and maybe even transmuting that to focusing that energy on yourself and unifying that active and passive uh, energy within yourself so that in a sense you can stop seeking, seeking it outside of you. So um, just taking a break from the whole romantic, the whole relationship aspect of life and focusing that somewhere else, right? Because what needs to start is you got the four of swords. So you need to really take a break. Um, all this mental energy is kind of weighing you down in a sense and keeping you caught up in, um, in the fields, right? And the fields aren't always beneficial they can they can they can put us on pause before they let us move forward, you know, because when we stuck when we get stuck in the fields then they turn into swords into these mental patterns that keep going around and around and keep us going in circles, kind of creating chaos, which is what comes after the four of swords when we don't take the rest of these that is needed, the break that we need from the mental anguish that we've kind of put ourselves through because the the four of swords comes after the three of swords and the three of swords is like an awakening or possibly a heartbreak or realizing that what you thought was going to work isn't which can bring an emotional setback you know and then you come to the four of swords which asks you to take a break so that you can regroup so that you can figure be it clear and sound mind so that you can go within and listen to the wisdom it is that you're gaining from this perceived loss, you know? And what's starting, I'm sorry, what's continuing is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is, you know, kind of like Taurus. He has that active energy. He's adventurous. He's a lot of fun, you know, but the ones, he has an idea. He's moving to action. This is focusing on building. This is focusing on creating. It's focusing on spirit, letting spirit lead you forward into where it is that you're going. You need to continue doing that, you know, continue focusing on your creativity. Don't wait on anything. Don't let your emotions stagnate you in listening to this call that is being offered to you through the Knight of Wands, that is being offered to you in creating the future it is that you're moving into, moving forward into. 
you know, continue to um, find happiness in where it is that you're headed, where it is that you are, you know, and know that all is not lost. It, all things take time. All things, you know, have to be built. So focusing on nourishing yourself, taking care of yourself. This is a uh, spring and this is the budding uh, root growing out of the ground. It still needs to be watered, it still needs to be cared for, it still needs to be fed, you know, making sure the toil, the soil is is ripe and that it is the right, the right, uh, what do I want to say, I guess pH in order for um, it to have a fruitful and prosperous growth into a fully budding flower, into a fully budding fruit with you know, that can be picked, that can be eaten, that can bring nourishment to the body, to the spirit, to the soul, you know, so it is going to, it's like continue to have the strength to move forward despite the circumstances um, that can possibly keep you down, you know, because of something that it seems right now didn't work, right? This is about the tapping in, the four of swords, the going within, the listening to the wisdom, the the seeing the bigger picture, you know, understanding and knowing that this is not the end, you know, that there is more to come. There is always more to come. So... <clears throat> So if there has been a, a imbalanced relationship that you just experienced or some type of separation, um, because two of cups coming up in that needing to stop area is like, okay, don't focus so much on that. Let's go within, let's see ourselves for a second, you know, and how is this reflecting for me? What am I learning from this? where is this calling growth for me you know and allow that to bring a sense of joy that you can see the message that is here for you so cancer 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 from the full moon reaper where is cancer stopping where is cancer starting where is cancer continuing Stop. Start. So cancer. For the stop card, you got the Empress. And with the Empress coming up in this um space, for me, this is saying I need to Okay, so this is saying a need to stop seeing yourself in this place of repression. Like, pull yourself out of this place of repression, right? Stop seeing things from... If you are seeing that you do not have enough, that is not the truth. Because you do. The Empress always has enough. She has everything she needs. She has enough to give. She has enough to share. She has enough for herself. You know, she... She it is almost like you need to come into this active space and not be so passive in what it is that you are attaining for yourself, right? And I say that because you need to start coming into the night, the, what is it, the king of wands, right? So he, he has mastered his craft, you know, he, he continues to move forward in his craft, even though he's made it, he knows that he can continue building. He's always inspired. You know, he is the authority. He is the boss. He is not waiting on anyone to tell him to give him the go. He knows he is the go. 
you know, and he has the inspiration it is that he needs. He already has, um, he also carries that spirit of, um, of knowing, of trusting and having faith that things are gonna work out. So maybe you need to tap into that energy of um, having a little bit more faith, trusting a little bit of going ahead and knowing. You need to know that you already have it. You already have everything it is that you need um, in order to make happen whatever it is that you're making happen, whatever it is that you're going forward towards. You have the knowledge, you have the knowing, you have the protection to get there. It is all in a matter of just doing it, you know, and continue. You got the three of cups, so you need to continue to connect with people, continue to celebrate life, continue to enjoy life and feel fulfilled in life and know that it is safe for you to be happy, that it is safe for you to enjoy life. You know, you have people around you that support you and you see things, continue to connect with them, continue with, to connect with people who are trustworthy, who resonate with you, who you feel comfortable and safe with, you know, and that will help you really come up out of this repressed state of energy. Um, this lack of trusting, this lack of, this place of seeing that you are not attaining what it is that you want. And you're seeing it that way because you're not recognizing that you already are that. You are that already. And it's a need for you to continue to celebrate that. Don't just act like you think you know that or that you think you are that really feel that you are that because you are, you know. You know, don't, don't neglect yourself. You have all the knowledge it is that you need in order to um, make it there, to make it happen, you know. You are in your full power and authority. You are in an exalted state of being. <clears throat> It's just all in a matter of recognizing that and trusting that you have arrived. Shine because you can. Shine because you are. <laughs> yeah, take care of yourself. So with the um with this Empress card in the stop place, you could also be neglecting yourself. Don't do that. Take care of yourself. Nourish yourself love on yourself, give yourself the things it is that you need, whether that is of your body or of your spirit, you know, maybe you need, maybe spend some time reading a little bit, bit more, um, maybe spend some time having a little bit more space of quiet, maybe even express yourself emotionally more so that you can, um, receive that back in the event you're feeling like that, the relationship aspect of things is not what you're receiving, you know, show up, in who it is that you are you are emotions you are water you know you are the sign of security and emotional maturity be in that space and express yourself in that space you know because you know who you are you don't need anybody to tell you that you don't need anybody to even validate that you know because it's it's already there so Okay, Cancer, I hope that that was helpful. I'm going to go ahead and move on to Leo. So, what would you like for Leo to know? What would you like for Leo to start? To stop? To start? And to continue? Leo, to start? Start. So, Leo, seems like spirit wants you to stop focusing so much on 
on um, hmm. okay so perhaps you have been really focused on manifesting really focused on your finances right because you got that ace of pentacles with this you may need to be trusting a little bit more that the that the fruit is growing this plant out the arm that things are coming full circle and it's a matter of you moving out of the way and letting things come to you and not be so focused on the gaining not feeling like that you are losing something if you are not focused here on calling in on manifesting on finances on the money right because when we get caught up in that circular thought of okay i need to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm doing what i need to do so i can make this money it kind of gets you in this loop of um blocking yourself you know you it is okay i'm not gonna go that far yet but um you need to come more into a place of of faith it seems because starting is the page of cups and the page of cups is inspired ideas it is the page of cups trusts it trusts in god you know because this is an emotional um a watery energy cups are our spirit they are um they are the soul they are the intuition so maybe you need to start listening to yourself a little bit more tapping in a little bit more and recognizing that you already the answers are there it's a matter of I'm sorry I thought I heard my son it's a matter of listening to the messages that are coming through for you because the page is the messenger he comes um sharing the the ethereal message from the heavens, specifically with the Page of Cups, right? So recognizing yourself, taking more time to focus on yourself, um, taking more time to focus on whatever it is that you need to create. If there is anything that you need to create, I'm sorry, it's a lot of noise in the background. So um, come more into the self, you know, so maybe taking some time to get into meditation, focusing on healing the self in whatever aspects it is that um, need to happen. Allow yourself to come into a place of knowing of who it is that you are, you know, so that you can manifest what it is that you truly want and more so so that you can be receptive and open to what it is that is coming to you you know so because what is asking you for continuing is the four of pinnacles so this is about continuing to be secure continuing to feel secure to know that you're secure that you are grounded in who it is and what it is that you have that you have everything it is that you need already that you don't have to you don't you're at a place where you don't really need to be focused on on this the building something new the making something new this new job this new business this new money like more money or anything like that like that's not where you are more so your focus needs to be on yourself who it is that you are um allowing your intuition and your connection to spirit to guide you forward and where it is that you're going just continuing to be led you know continuing to trust the path continuing to trust the guidance that is that you would be being given with it where did that whether that is signs and symbols or that is through your dream state you know it's all in a matter of you listening to the call listening to 
how it is that you're feeling. Feel your feelings. Let your emotional state, let your body be your guide. Let what it is that is triggered within you guide you to the direction it is that you are headed. Right, because you already have everything it is that you need. Like you good. You're really good. This four of pentacles, like you sitting on it. You really if if nothing was to change, you would be all right. You know, so um it's just really all in a matter of trusting yourself, tapping into that inner you, allowing aspects of yourself to come together um you know recognizing that you were whole that you were not without anything when you know how you feel when you know what you're feeling you can allow that to lead you to where it is that you're going even if you don't know where that is That will also help you tap into others, being more sensitive to those who are around you, right? So you got Taurus, so maybe focusing more on the beauty, um, not, you will already have the possessions, you have, continue to um, tap into yourself, your values, continue to align yourself to your values, um, continue to garner or cultivate and nourish your self-esteem you know recognize what is going on around you and seeing how it is that that is reflecting from within you and allow that to also be your guide allow of what direction it is that you need to take of what steps it is it's just a matter of trusting you don't have to be so caught up in the manifesting in the making it happen in the materialistic aspect of things because allow yourself to align within with what it is that you value uranus is in taurus right so this is about a change in values or a change in how it is that you embody your values so this is about you showing up more as yourself the self-awareness which is what the page of cups is is about being connected to the inner you to the the pole that connects to the higher realms of being you know so it is about trusting it's about knowing that you are receptive and listening to that inner call when you are being guided forward you know let go of whatever preconceived burdens it is that you think you have because that is not real like now pull yourself up out of those illusions and see yourself truly as you are, truly as who it is that you are right now in this moment and not who it is that you think you should be. Feel who it is that you are so you can know who you do be. <laughs> That's, that came. So, okay. I hope that was helpful, Leo. We're going to move forward to Virgo. Virgo, spirit, what guidance do you have for Virgo? What does Virgo need to stop, start, and continue? Virgo, this full moon cycle of Libra. And really quickly, Leo, being able to tap more into your self-awareness, this is going to help. This is going to fully, like, support you in showing up within your relationships, having more pleasant and loving and genuine relationships as well. It won't be, a, it, you won't feel forced in trying to connect with anybody out of the sake of not feeling being under this idea that you are not secure when you really are. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -
So Virgo, very similar to um, the Leo. Everybody, I guess, you know, we're just in this space of really being focused on trying to make things happen, trying to build, and that could be possibly out of a state of fear, right? So, hmm. okay, so Virgo, you got the page, of, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, so perhaps, hmm. Perhaps you've been being a little lazy, in a sense, and, or a little bit impatient, and you need to tap more into your patience, get a little bit more grounded in where it is that you're going, um, get a little bit more inspired to where it is that you're going. And if you already are inspired, then you need to begin acting on these inspirations so that you can start building up on what is moving forward. Um, perhaps um, you may need to be being a little bit more patient and stop be persistently patient, you know? So, but this doesn't mean not doing anything. That means being patient, but doing the work moving forward continuously consistently um being grounded in what it is that you're doing where it is that you're going but that should be pretty easy for you because you are an earth sign you know but if you are not um if you are not inspired that can be difficult to tap into and it can breed that energy of laziness so maybe taking some time to cultivate some inspiration by doing something that perhaps inspires you, like something outside of whatever it is that you're trying to build, do something other than that so that you can be inspired, so you can come back and be inspired if in the fact that you are being lazy. And if that's not the case, if this is part of a consistent routine you have, that may need to stop and it may need to change. And I say that because what needs to start is the magician. And the magician is about alchemizing your energy, it's about using what it is that you already have and making something out of that. You know, um, it's also about trust. It's about knowing you have everything it is that you already need in order to make reality it. You know, the magician is the number one. So this is something new. This is something new that's being begun, um, but it's being cultivated through what it is that you already have. It's like, you don't need to go out and purchase anything. You don't need to go out and learn anything. It's a matter of taking your personal energy and bringing that together with the action so that it can be created. The magician is the alchemist, it turns lead into gold, All right? So <clears throat> this is about taking the lead that you already have and making it gold. Um, so with that, that kind of makes me feel like you've been having some sense of being, not being motivated in what it is that you, where you're going, what you're doing, and just really feeling unsure in a sense. But recognizing that you already have it in you will support you in being able to open up and make things happen on the material level, on the, um, on the financial level, on the life skill, because pinnacles are about materializing things, you know, so you be creative, be crafty, do it yourself, you know, don't feel like that, um, don't let your talents go to waste, because you are so creative, like, you have so much within you that can be utilized for, for great, you know, so tap into that, and to continue, what you have is the four of wands, so continue to, you know, um, 
feel successful in where it is that you are. Continue to feel stable. This is about stability. This is about um, home life. This is about family. Know that you are supported, that you have good people around you, that you have everything it is that you need in order to make it happen. And like you are solid, honestly, continue to feel accomplished in where it is that you are because whether you recognize it or not, you've come very far, you know, and continue to celebrate this. Um, celebrate the smile, the smallest milestones that you have achieved, you know, and know that this present effort that it, that you have, whether it's present or past, you will be compensated for those efforts. They will come back to you. And until then, continue to enjoy where it is that you are, what it is that you've accomplished up until now. And as you're in this space, tap into your, your, your available resources that you have so that you can bring other things to fruition. Don't allow yourself to be not motivated. <laughs> You know, all up to you, all lives within you. You know, you know what you want, you're sure of it, and you operate from your place of truth. You're a person, place of personal truth. So just know that tapping into that will allow you to manifest. You yeah. because you got Libra, which is where the moon is. So tap into your desires. Um, tap into what you know. What do you want? What do you need? Recognize that. Bring balance into that and utilize the relationships it is that you have surrounding you in order to make these things happen. Um, because the people that you need to make this happen, those also exist. They are also present. They are also there. So let's get on to Libra. Libra. Libra, full moon is happening in your sign. So let's see what spirit has for you. What, what guidance do you have for Libra on this full moon? What would you like for them to stop? What would you like for them to start? What would you like for them to continue? Think about having a baby. I always hear phantom cries. Like, oh, is that them? <laughs> Half the time it don't be them. It's just all in my head. Okay, Libra, stop. Start. Continue. Okay. So, Libra, you seem to know where you're going. You know what you want. You know where you stand. You know, so let's see. So Libra, you have the page of swords. The page, he brings the messages. He brings the messages of truth. You know, he's like, oh, I found this out today. Let me share this with y'all. And with it coming up in the stop position, for me, this is um saying that you need to come out of this space of um being afraid to one fail but also um any fear that surrounds you sharing your thoughts sharing who it is that you are sharing whatever messages it is that you have sharing your truth consistently you know and perhaps you a new ways of communicating may help you with this um, aligning to a new way of thought, you know, and continuing. In a sense, it feels like you don't need to continue to um, learn things, right? You don't have to, you know so much already, right? So, it's like can allow this to help you facilitate 
this this path it is that you're on allow this to guide you versus um hinder you in being caught up so much in the knowledge right Okay. <laughs> this is also saying stop feeling like you don't know, like you are inexperienced because you actually know a lot. You know, you have, you are a sign of, of knowing, of knowledge. Intellectual stimulation is something that you thrive under. So operating under that in being confident in that, but consistently, you know, not feeling like that you need to continue to always learn more so you can show up more because you don't, you already have so much in, in instead allowing the experience to continue to teach you what it is that you need to learn, right? Because what you need to start is strength, having the strength to be consistent, um, to be committed, what number is this? It's the number eight. Yeah, so doing the work, you need to be consistent with that, being strong and um, trusting and having the courage to do that. Moving forward strongly. Consistently expressing yourself. knowing that God is on your side and, you know, expressing yourself from your place of truth and knowing that that's okay um, to stand for what it is that you stand for and not allow any outsiders to um, to deter you and create any doubt within you, you know, Stand strong in who it is that you are. Be brave in what it is that you are taking on. You know, connect to your voice. That's, again, the stopping of the learning. You don't have to. Learning is helpful, yes, but all you really need is to trust that you know and allow your will to support you. Honors that what lives within to help you move forward and be able to show up and make the moves and to stay consistent on what it is that you're doing. So if there is something that you do and you have been taking breaks from it or you aren't being consistent as you would like to or and you're finding, the, and you're finding excuses to not be consistent it's time to let that go and continue forward because you are supported with the strength cards um allow your will to carry you because there is abundance waiting on the other side of your consistency all right so what you need to continue is to stand in your truth and be clear about who it is that you are what it is that you bring in and know that it is right know that it is good know that you are full of clarity that you are that you know you know the truth you don't have to defend yourself the truth needs no defense none at all you know you don't have to doubt what it is that you come with you you can come with that and um people will respect you for that you know but it is a matter of you being consistent and showing up and not worrying about what anybody else is doing not worry about what anybody else is saying you know because it doesn't matter they don't matter the only thing that matters is what you have to say um and this could also be stop listening to messages of other people. People, the other people who think they know something. 
especially if it has to do within your arena of whatever it is that you do. Listen, focus on yourself and what it is that you do and what it is that you know, right? Tap into your soul. You got Pisces. Um, what is it that you're desiring? What are, your, what are you imagining? Where is your genius? Do that. Tap into that. Be consistent in that. Be grounded in that. With Pisces coming up, you may just be kind of floating in the air with ideas. And that could be with this page of swords, you know, not having the experience that you think you need or just not having the experience in general. But the experience comes as you continue to go forward and move forward. So tap into this genius, tap into these ideas, tap into your soul expression, let your, let your, let who it is that you are reflect outside of you and let yourself be seen, you know, because there are, there are people watching you with the strength card and the queen of swords, people see you for who it is that you are. They, res they respect you. You know, so it's just a matter of respecting yourself, you know, and doing your great deeds without sacrificing anything, you know, without giving away more than what it is that you have to give. So let's see. And also tap, I want to say tap in, um, because Mercury is also in Pisces. So kind of listen, be listening to the messages, follow your intuition, let that guide you. Like just when you get an idea, a spark of inspiration, do that. You know, don't sleep on it. Don't wait on like, oh, I'm going to wait. No, I'm not going to do that. No, just do it because you may end up getting what you didn't expect from it. So Okay, so Scorpio, what do you have for Scorpio? Stop, start, and continue for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. So, well, the top card you got is the Ten of Wands. So, maybe you've been overburdening yourself, and that needs to come to a stop. Maybe you also need to garner a sense of boundaries. Um, you know, just getting very clear on what it is that you're going to allow within your life. Um, you may also need to stop being so focused on like take a break from this this responsibility of success and when i say that that means basically taking on too much thinking that you need to continue to do this and put your energy there put your energy here you know and take some time to really stop and smell the roses take a break um it's interesting that this card is coming up and we are in the space it is that we are in your focus is in the wrong place it's like you kind of need to start trusting what it is that's going on and stop feeling like that you need to overwork yourself in order to succeed because you don't. Um, you're going to burn yourself out. It's, it's not going to take a break. Take a break. So what you need to start is the Queen of Wands, right? So... The Queen of Wands, she's inspired to action. She only moves when she's ready. She only moves when she's like, oh, that's where I'm going. I'm going to do this, and I'm only do this. And that's it. She manifests what she needs from within her. She is open and receptive to receive the opportunity. She knows she doesn't have to overwork herself. All she got to do is flick her wand, and it's like, oh. I'm doing that. That's what I'm going to do. 
you know, so tap more into this queen energy, know who it is that you are so that you don't have to be a slave. You know, you're not page Scorpio, you're a queen, right? You don't have to work hard for what it is that you want. What you want comes to you. You already have it. It's here. Trust that you do have that so that it can come, so that it can manifest in front of you. Continue to find balance within yourself. Continue to um, be in the space of moderation. Continue to be in the space of trust. Continue forward on your path, but do it in a way that is inspired, not in a way that is overworking you. Do not continue to let yourself be pulled in so many directions. If, if it feels like it's going to wear you out, don't do it. If it feels like it's too much before you even start, don't do it. Take time to, to go within temperance, go within balance, that internal intuition with the action so that you can make the right moves. Continue to do that inside work, you know, continue to connect with your personal beliefs as long as you continue to do that you are going to be able to be inspired to action and not overwork yourself it's all in a matter of you listening within she has her she has her hand over her heart you know she's balanced between her heart and her mind she's listening listening to the 16 this is a card of seven so continuing trusting in the magic that you can manifest you don't have you don't have to oh this is great so this is what this time is allowing us to do um recognize that we don't have to hustle hard for what we want that being still and listening within brings us is tapping into the law of attraction, right? This is about knowing what you want, where you're going is possible, right? And trusting that it's gonna come to you. But it's about following the signs, listening to that inner voice, allowing your heart and your mind to connect, letting your heart beat in your mind being like, okay, well, this is the plan of action. This is the easiest way forward. I'm going to go with grace. I'm going to do a couple of steps of what it is that I need to do. And then I'm going to let God carry me the rest of the way. That is grace. I mean, that is what grace is. Allowing spirits to come through on your behalf after you've done your part. Because that's all they want us to do is to meet them halfway. And they will carry us the rest of the way. But you have to be able to trust that. And when you're overburdening yourself, when you're overworking yourself, putting your energy in too many places, it's hard to see that. The society that we've kind of built under, you know, hustle hard, go home or go hard. And it's like, that's not real. That's an illusion to create corporate industry going. You can create a small business, all right, by working four hours a day. Putting enough energy in four hours a day. Unless you do service. Even you can work in the service industry and work four or five hours a day. And make something happen. It's about trusting the process. You got the life card. This is earth. You... Be receptive. The earth, for me, the earth is ruled by Taurus, right? And Taurus is all about being present and receptive. When you're present, in the present moment, you open yourself up to be able to attain everything it is that belongs to you. But if you are focused on what it is that you need to be producing, then, or too far ahead into the future and not in the present moment, you block this bounty from being able to come into your sphere, right? Your sphere of influence. The Queen of Wands is all about being in her own personal authority. And your authority is about who it is that you are, what it is that you're going after. Be focused on reflecting the fact that 
you can sit with yourself, with your knowing, and create from that space, you know. But it's all in a matter of choosing to listen to the guidance it is that is being given to you by being and that comes through when you are aligned with what actions it is that you need to take and what it is that you're trying to create alchemy so i hope that was helpful scorpio now we are going on to sagittarius sagittarius what is going on for you, Sagittarius? What needs to stop? What needs to start? What needs to continue for you? What is it that you like? What guidance is that you have, Sagittarius? Uh, all right. Continue. Okay. Sagittarius, you're doing the same thing Scorpio is doing. You need to take a break. What's going on, you guys? Um, so the burnout is real. All right. Can I work yourself to death? Take a step back. Sure, great. You're being responsible. You know, you're moving forward to your goals. But in the meantime, you're wearing yourself thin. And that is not going to serve you it's not going to serve you in the future you know it's not going to allow you to you're not going to have the energy for real to um let the magic come once once the resources come in you're not even gonna be able to enjoy them because you're tired you're like oh i need a break and it's like when will you take the time to enjoy what it is that you're doing. Are you enjoying it? Can't be. You got all, you're carrying all these sticks. That's great. Proud of you that you're putting your will, you're activating the hell out of your will, but pull back, take a break, take a breather. Stop exerting so much energy. Um, you know, hmm. Take a moment so that you do not overburden yourself. Put down something so that you can pack a little bit lighter, right? Because you need to let your inner well be your pool and not what's going on with outside of you again this is about receptivity the chariot is, is cancer Thought I heard something. so the chariot is about cancer i mean it is cancer so this is about your security right moving into your security but with this coming up after this ten of wands it seems like you're overworking yourself because you're not clear on where direction it is that you're going so maybe you're pulling yourself in too many directions and you need to get clear on the where it is that you're headed right take some time to tap in and get clear on what moves that you really need to make so that you can make where it is that you're going a reality If you have been feeling stuck, it's because you're exerting your energy in too many different places. You're too overburdened by somebody. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna say that by somebody, by maybe people, all right, that are surrounding you and you maybe need to take a break from them. Maybe you're overburdened by your responsibilities to others, right? And you need to figure out where it is that you're going for yourself because that is creating a lot of chaos for you and it is becoming, you are not gonna be able to continue to move forward through that. Um, so right now, we got time. We got time. Where are you going? Where are you headed? Um, what is it that you desire 
to bring into this reality. It, it's all in, what are your goals? Are you sure about your goals? Get clear about your goals so that you can access the proper resources, that you can access the, the proper movements in order to give you to your goals. Because it's like maybe right now you're just doing a lot of moving and it's not leading you to the direction it is that you are desiring to go. You know, what, where are you headed is what I want to ask you. Start going there. That's where you need to, your focus needs to be instead of, because it's, it's possible to manifest this, but you first need to get clear in what it is that you want security to look and feel like for you um, instead of pulling things together from many places in order to be grounded or secure or to build or however. Take your time and figure that out is what I want to say. So continue to be in, in truth, be objective, being objective if that's where you've already been. Um, continue to be fair in your actions, you know, so if people, if it feels like people, other people are involved with this, maybe this has to do with something legal and if it doesn't um maybe other people are just involved you know so continue being fair being just in the actions it is that you're taking but it's time for you to make sure you're taking the actions for yourself so this is like okay don't fully pull out but definitely um alter what it is that's going on and making sure that these things that you are putting your energy into um, are also benefiting where it is that you're headed in the future, right? So this is about tapping in and listening to what it is that spirit is telling you, taking inspired action instead of the action it is that you feel like you need to do. Maybe also allow people to do things on their own, you know, because that, that too is it's about fairness. Um, but also being, continue being aware of the cause and the effect of everything. Like, um, like okay, I did this, so this happened. Or if I choose to do this, this is going to happen. You know, and that is going to allow you to be fair. And sometimes we have to allow people to um, do their thing so that um, they can learn how to do it for themselves. I don't know why I'm saying that. But I really, it feels like Sagittarius has other people involved with their present reality right now especially with the moon being in Libra this definitely has to do with other people so yeah we got the 11th house what are your goals are you are you on the road to those things are you on the road to that are you networking with the correct people are you connecting with the right people or do you have the right friends around you are you taking the right steps are you focused on your purpose are you taking inspired action to your purpose if not now is the time to do that it is time for you to harness that inner energy that will help propel you in moving forward and what it is that you need to be doing for yourself. Sure, we can always help the people along the way that it's a wonderful thing. And maybe you can make that part allow your purpose to help them, right? Allow your uniqueness to help them without having to overexert yourself. Be in your autonomy. You know, don't do not do something based out of what needs to be done for another, in a sense, because, you know, always show up as you, basically, is what I'm saying. Don't, don't negate or neglect who it is that you are out of a sense of needing to be responsible for another person, because 
sure we can be responsible for other people, but we also have to help them be responsible for them own for their own selves. Sometimes we have to um, help people get out their own way, so we're not in turn doing everything for them. And that that comes with a sense of compassion and empathy and um, being sensitive to another's needs and recognizing the best ways in which it is that we need to show up in order to really help somebody by not holding the load for them. <clears throat> okay, so Capricorn. I hope that was helpful, Sagittarius. Capricorn, that's it. Full moon has to be. Leave a full moon for Capricorn. It needs to be taken for them, taken with them over this full moon labor cycle. What guidance is it that you have for Capricorn? To stop, start, and continue. Okay. So, Capricorn. Maybe you're spending too much time celebrating, spending too much time with your friends, spending too much time avoiding your responsibilities out of escapism and um, not being solid. And which is, this is strange that Capricorn is getting this card because Capricorn is all about work. You know, um, it's all about being responsible and getting the job done. But perhaps um, you've been taking a load off you know, we're in a space where we don't have to really um, focus on a lot of work right now. Um, you know, so maybe you've really been enjoying this time, but perhaps you need a break from that. Or maybe <laughs> Capricorn, has there been some type of social... Has there been some type of disruption in your relationships, some type of tension in your relationships? Um, is it possible for you to be able to show up differently to rectify the energy that has been brought forth through your relationships? Can you take responsibility for the way in which it is that you've shown up and created whatever disruption has, whatever disruption is currently present in your relationships? So maybe the overindulgence in the, of everything that comes with the celebration, the enjoyment of the relationship has created tension because things have become imbalanced. And with this Libra New Moon, it's a call to rebalance things by stepping up and taking responsibility and start realizing that relationships, Five of Cups, are what you make them, you know, that everything happens in order to bring growth to our lives, you know, um, to help us be bigger and better in how it is that we relate to other people, um, you know, start moving forward differently within your relationships, um, choose to see things from a higher perspective, choose to not, what is the word? So on the tip of my tongue, take advantage of the fact that there is disruption. You know, don't be so focused on the negativity. You know, don't get caught up in wallowing in whatever kind of disappointments that you may have had within your relationships start over love differently interact differently relate differently don't let the cause for celebration get in the way of the ways in which you need to show up that will support the growth and fruition of your relationships, you know, and, and kind of accept things for what they have been 
you know, and, and choose to be more secure in who it is that you are so that you can in turn share that security with another and they can feel secure in who it is that they are. <clears throat> so what needs to continue Capricorn is everything okay? <laughs> because what needs to continue is the three of swords and the three of swords speaks about um i can't speak about heartbreak and disappointment but with this needing to continue for me this is saying that um you need to keep recognizing seeing yourself you need to keep a awakening you know continue to heal continue to leave behind the past you know continue to move forward from whatever grief it is that you've been feeling like whatever let down it is that you've been feeling um whether this is with all the cups it could be a miscommunication and perception um perhaps you haven't been seeing something clearly it seems and Things just need to change in general. So continue to do the healing it is that needs to happen within your relationships and how it is that you interact, how it is that you relate, how it is that you show up. You know, how are you how are you projecting yourself within all of this? What better environment can you create in order to help things move along and be on a more solid foundation within your relationships? You know, what? What is it that you are reflecting? Okay, so Capricorn, this is the one card of reflect. So with this i want to say take some time to recognize what wounds it is that are being reflected outside of you that is um being a catalyst for this emotional growth but also recognize what it is, where it is that people are mirroring you that's actually creating this trigger that is um creating this disharmony within your relationships um, take a look, take a step back to see where this is you too, right? So that you can come into a place of acceptance and move forward on a new path so that you can further nourish the growth it is, you know, because this is like very destitute, very cold. So maybe you need to warm up a little bit. Maybe you need to, um, uh, in a sense, not be so distant and be in a place of connecting more. So, Capricorn, I hope that that was helpful. I'm going to do Cap Aquarius. We are almost to the end. Aquarius. Aquarius, beautiful, beautiful. Guidance you have for Aquarius in this full moon. Stop, sorry. Thank you, thank you. So Aquarius, for what spirit is prompting for you to stop is the will of fortune, to stop going within these same consistent cycles um, that are creating 
less than desirable results in your life, right? So there is some way that you are continuing to show up that is not working for you. And you keep continuing to try and do this and it's not allowing you to move into a new space of being. Um, it is um, stopping you from being able to attain what it is that you are desiring, right? And this is also um blocking you from really moving into a new way of being uh, if there's some change that needs to happen here with how it is that you're showing up in particular um because if you continue to do this is going to bring it you're not going to succeed you know this is really a call for you to recognize where it is that you were the problem in your life. You know, what, what perception is it that you have taken on that continues to encourage you to show up in the way in which it is that you have been in turning around and playing this role of a victim, right? When, and perhaps it is your behavior that is causing things to continue to go down the road that they have been because the start card that you got is the nine of swords so possibly you need to start doing the healing behind the psychological patterns that keep you bound to where it is that you are um you know, take time to see the wounds for what it is that they are. And sure, they may have been, they may have happened through someone else, but continuing to um, hold on to the behaviors in which you needed to inhabit to protect yourself and using that as a means of being that I'm this is just who I am is not working for you anymore it's stopping you from really being able to see the real the reality of things you know so I need to hmm, come out of this negative space of thinking like these these thought patterns it is that you've tied yourself to are really starting to create a sense of destruction in your life. Um, so it's time to go within. <laughs> well, okay, so it's time to do the root work to see what it is. It's time to surrender, you know, surrender to the healing it is, surrender to seeing yourself for who it is that you have become, who it is that you are, and how it is that that is affecting where it is that you're going, right? So it seems that you've already been doing the self-reflection because you got the Hermit card. And the Hermit card is it's all about transformation. You know, we're going within with the Hermit to see where it is that we need to better show up so that we can self-correct our reality so that we can change our future by way of us. You know, and so continue to do the self-reflection, continue to see how it is that you're showing up, continue to see who it is that you're choosing to be and how that choice is manifesting your reality, you know, so that can help you transform and have better relationships to connect and be closer to others um, in your life and even have better business relationships. That's also going to help you move into a sense of fortune and with your finances as well, along with your close relationships, your partnerships, your marriage, everything like that. So um, it seems like Aquarius, things are really about to transform for you through this um, full moon energy because things are coming to an end. 
especially if you continue to take the time to do the healing work and be in solitude with yourself and see yourself, you know, and you don't hold, you, you're not a victim. And don't beat yourself up either. Um, or how it is that you've shown up, we're all learning and we're all seeing ourselves, no matter where it is that we are, how old it is that we are, like, it doesn't matter. Um, it just doesn't matter. What matters is that you choose to to do what you need to do to be happy within your world, in your life, and to have flourishing and nourishing relationships with others, you know? So, you got the new moon. All right, so moving forward with new intentions, new beginnings, taking time to plant new seeds and, and um, you know, focusing within as well, you know, so that you can do the internal healing it is that needs to be done to help support you in nourishing these new seeds, in nurturing, in, in um helping these new seeds flourish and grow and and be of bounty for things to be full and rich within your life so that you can later harvest what is meant for you so i hope that that was helpful aquarius and of course last but not least we are at pisces Let's see what spirit has for you. So what are you wanting in Pisces to stop, to start, and to continue under this full moon cycle of labor? Pisces. So Pisces, it seems that you're in the same boat as Sagittarius and Scorpio. It's time to stop overburdening yourself with whatever it is that you've been overburdening yourself with. You are burning yourself out or on the brink of burnout. It is time to put some of these sticks down. You are spreading yourself thin and going to not be able to accomplish anything based out of not having a real sense of direction um or feeling like that the more that you have that the more that you you get you know or that you are more responsible because you're doing more and that's not necessarily the case you can just do one thing you can do two things and be consistent in that and that will lead you to the success it is that you're desiring you do not have to pull yourself here there and everywhere in order to find success you know you don't have to hustle hard you don't have to go hard or go home just take some time to take a break and see what direction it is that you actually want to go see what actions it is that you're taking that's actually useful you know because you've come to this place of completion of realizing that i'm just you know, I'm overburdened it's, it's too much what am i going to do what are you going to choose you know so what they're asking you to start is to listen within to get sure by listening by listening to the messages the inspirations the intuition the guidance letting your inner light guide you forward and where it is that you're heading this is the page of cups the page of cups is about grace it's about ease it's about flowing the page of cups is not taking more messages than he can carry you know, and he probably won't even go anywhere. He'll probably telepathically send those messages, all right? Because he's like, hey, we are not necessarily taking the easy road, but I know that through 
all things. <laughs> you know, through all things. Through all things. Spirit is there strengthening them. And through that, they follow their inner guidance and their souls pull to where it is that they are going, where it is that they're giving the messages. What messages are meant to be told, are meant to be said, because it's a feeling. It's not, a, it's not, it doesn't come from here. It comes from the heart, right? It comes from the spirit, from the soul. It's an embodiment. What is the body? Where is your body telling you to go? Listen to that, right? Because you, wherever it is that you're actually going, you have yet to gain the full experience to be in the mastery of it, but you're on your way. You have a lot of ideas, but which one idea is the correct one? What, which ones should you be following to go to? Listen to that in, inner voice, that, that God voice that is telling you the space in which it is that you need to go to so that you can stop overburdening yourself and pulling yourself in too many directions. Continue doing the root work, Ten of Swords. Continuing moving forward in the rebirthing, in the metamorphosis. Continue to change your mind. Continue to tap into your mind so that you can know as well as feel so those two things can be aligned so that you can take the correct action and stop wearing yourself thin. Um, yeah, surrender to what it is that needs to, continue to surrender to what it is that needs to be done and continue to end all the things that are no longer serving you. Listen, let this page of cups be your guide so that you can stop pulling yourself into too many directions, outside opinions. I see with Ten of Wands, listen to yourself, listen to yourself, self-cultivate, continue to cultivate or begin cultivating a pure and true self-awareness. Come into the consciousness of you and you can do this by continuing to release what is no longer working. It's something maybe difficult to let go, but you just got to let them go for the sake of them not allowing you to really see things and perceive things the way in which it is that is most beneficial to you, you know? Wherever there may be some wounds that are going on here that need to be dealt with, and continuing to acknowledge these things and allowing yourself to grow through this will allow you to continue to support you to cultivate the self-awareness it is that you need so that you can pack light. You don't want to carry too much with you moving forward. A lot weighing you down in that may seem to be what it is that is making you feel like you need to pull yourself in many directions like something has expired it's uh, it's time um and this is showing up within your relationships with in your your relationships your friendships your work relationships it's time to let something go that is no longer working, you know? And it's all about the mind and trusting that. So you got the Nourish card, so that goes with this Page of Cups, you know? Nourish yourself, cultivate that inner self-awareness so you can know what direction it is that you need to go into, what moves are going to be best for you. Who do you need to connect with? Who do you need to ask for support to help you? Because it seems like you can't do it by yourself and you've been trying to, and that's okay. It's great that you have been activating your will and 
allowing it to be harnessed and cultivating this energy so that you can manifest but ask for help when you need it there are people around you willing to help you there are people who love you page of cups who will listen to what it is that you have to say and will give you the assistance it is that you need but that's only going to come through the nourishment of you by recognizing that you deserve that you know continue to be inspired about what it is that you're building and follow your soul's calling follow that core feeling don't let anybody else's idea of what you should be doing or how you should be doing it encourage you to do anything other than what the self actually wants to do and cultivate that cultivate that by nourishing yourself more so your spirit it feels like the anything in your mind you know pisces you're a water sign so sometimes and then the mercury card is here at the bottom so maybe in some space you were kind of in the clouds i don't i want to say like maybe it's a little foggy and that is what has brought forth this mental transformation that is happening that you're coming into um but yes just continue to to activate that mental activity so that it can support you in following your intuition and you don't have to be in the space of overburdening yourself really running yourself rampant and running yourself thin. yeah don't be so defensive either you know ask for help and and when help comes don't be so defensive about the advice that's given in helping you cultivate whatever it is that you're cultivating and moving into this new space that you're going into you know connect with those who you who you know can help you lighten your load you know because they are definitely surrounding you and ready to help you um come out of this space of victimization you know help you flourish and help you take this from a bud to a full-grown flower so okay pisces i hope that that was helpful so i'm gonna roll some dice for all of us uh, so we got uranus and capricorn in the third house so it's time to be very innovative and unique in the way in which it is that we are um going about relating to others like and get very grounded and solidified on who it is that we're connecting with how it is that we're communicating ourselves you know um focus on communicating from a place of the joy of lightness of acceptance for who it is that each of us are um and relating in the unique way in which it is that we relate you know and being grounded in that being sure of ourselves and in ways that are going to help us succeed whether that is within our relationships our businesses um within our what it is our purpose is you know anything like that we have people surrounding us that are here to help us and it's all about really trusting that they are there you know but also be responsible for your part in all of this so that when the people surrounding you show up to be of assistance that you are willing and able to do your part so you guys that was the labor for me i hope that you enjoyed this thank you for spending this time with me and if you want a personal reading all my readings every single one of my readings are donation based right now you can go on my website there will be a link in the bio to go there i'll also leave time stamps probably should have said that at the beginning um but i'm a time stamp all the signs and what else so if 
you're looking for a reading, um, fill out the contact form on my website or um, send me a direct message on my Instagram and we will get you set up with a reading that can help you move forward throughout this time if you need that help. And I look forward to working with y'all and I can't wait to see y'all again and connect with y'all again on the new moon. Maybe I'll go live. That would be fun. Okay, you guys, have a wonderful full moon, a wonderful evening, a beautiful time connecting with those you love um, and reconnecting and just really expanding your individuality in your relationships in a way that cultivates unity and solidifies everything it is that you desire to move you forward in your life through relating and through loving. So I'll see y'all soon. Bye.